hi now we will perform the classification techniques so there are two types of classification techniques one is supervised and unsupervised supervised classification will be possible only the analyst or the trainer has to give a training samples to the algorithms but whereas unsupervised classification does not required any training pixels or training samples to the algorithm so what exactly basic like basically the unsupervised classification is doing it is going to be divide or discriminate the classes based on the clustering so there are two types of techniques in unsupervised classification one is iso data and k means so we already performed supervised classification where there are many types of supervised classification parallel pipe minimum distance maximum likelihood sam that is spectral angle mapper but all these techniques like all these or algorithms required training samples of course you provided all these training samples by selecting uh, ROAs that means vegetation you provided in the entire image and uh, water bodies you provided then other like when you are going for the class 1 like level 1 classification vegetation agriculture like uh, vegetation water bodies soil and are built up areas so on the so if you are going for level 2 classification within that vegetation whether it is forest area agriculture land within the soil whether it is in a barren land or useful for some other purpose uh, urban areas water bodies also again drinking purpose water bodies like how the water bodies qualities existed like that but whereas in unsupervised classification of course you are not selected any uh, you are not providing any training samples now we will try to perform how the unsupervised classification definitely this is not exactly the way you have to like you are going to do the classification but mostly if you don't know about the steady area suppose you are working for the uh, some other foreign images like other we got the consultancy or you were uh, got the some uh, task from the other sources from the unknown areas so i hope the unsupervised classification is much better so like in what way you are trying to say that your client is saying in my study area so i need a level one classification that means hardly five to six classes then you can give the clusters ask them the algorithms can you classify number of classes 10 then each 10 you try to see on which based on the spectral property of course you learn spectral properties wise which color or what the spectra is reflected to which class then you can segregate those classes you can refine it yes there are people mostly doing unsupervised classification but you need to do a lot of exercise so now i will try to perform the unsupervised classification technique which is iso data let's see how it looks like we have already subsetted image i don't want to work on full image since it will take so much time as soon as you are selecting obviously you have to select the input data which you already opened subset of raster data in 2003 so once the data is open so it will ask you so data is opening then it will select the data sets as soon as you select the input data that means raw, raw data of satellite satellite then iso data parameters is asking if you see it is asking the number of clusters or number of classes do you require so yeah there are some a number of parameters which you can try to test it like there is iterations if it is you want one type of R, like one iteration that's fine and second iteration third iteration if you increase the maximum number of iteration the discrimination between objectives that means discrimination between classes clusters that means classes 
can be increased the accuracy can be increased that you please try in future or change threshold values i told you this is iso data and k-means is the statistics uh, basically statistics kind of uh, algorithms so it is based on the mean distance wise it is calculating so i'm not changing anything but i'm giving the classes number of classes minimum 5 maximum 10 so I'm not changing any mean value. If you have, if you if you know that the maximum standard deviation of each classes, then you can measure. I mean, you can give the all the input data sets. For instance, I'm not changing any iteration values, any other parameters. So do one initial all these parameters, change this parameter, check it out how the output is going to be displayed, and how the classes are se segregating properly or not. In that way also one can check the accuracy or improve the accuracy of the image. Now it is calculating the image, uh, segregating all the parameters wise and uh, so since of, of course it is a small image it will take some time. Yes, so now the classification image is coming up. Now try to overlay your uh, all classes into the classified, I mean raw data and check it out. How many, like how to check, you just open your interactive tool on image file, then see how to open the classified, this clusters classified data just on satellite image open your ROI like uh, classified image it is asking which interactive classes need to be overlay so this is my uh, classified image by the unsupervised that means K ISO data then as soon as you got you got the interactive class tools so now it is segregated or classified so if you remember I have given mac minimum 5 maximum 10 so now it is classified it is able to classify almost seven classes of course there is some pixels which unclassified will come default you have to carefully check whether it is coming into the unclassified or not now can you see what exactly this class is belongs to where especially a red one just overlay and red color uh, a red button on it then check it out yeah seems to be it is vegetation just go through the complete image and check it out whether it is vegetation or not. But in this area, we know that this is a forest area. Yeah, it is coming properly. But whereas, can you go to the bottom of the image? There is a Saint Saga Lake here. But it is coming into the red. That means the classifier is not able to justify segregate properly the vegetation between water body and vegetation anyway just check it out what is the second class so same classes like same way you can increase the iteration number of iteration maybe two or three see how it is going to be discriminate the classes definitely if you increase the iteration it is going to be yeah so seems to be these are also it is also mixing so many things like vegetation as well as you know uh, there are so many confused anyway let us see water body i mean sorry third one what class it belongs to if you feel that it is confused you can switch off this layer both layer which already opened yeah so this is third one is coming up This is putting entirely there are a lot of mixed pixels uh, yeah sometimes it is taking urban area sometimes it is vegetation can you see here along the river it is taking some of the pixels it is considering as this class so it is not able to classify now can you see the yellow one the yellow class which it is so if you feel that this is exactly belongs to this class now we can do that or if you feel that these two classes that means three and four are same we can merge those things so auto merge also the option we have in the options 
the merging classes one or two or three then this is belongs to yeah uh, seems to be urban re patches it is taking but here also so much confusion max is there now class 9 yeah this is a, in fact urban areas now if you come if you want you can confirm it and you can name it this is urban area so like that you can increase the number of classes now we can increase the iteration do once again classification see how it is you feel that class 4 and 3 and uh, you can say uh, uh, 4 is the same class then we can merge those things using the interactive tool itself there is the interactive tool merge classes that means you are going to seg uh, reduce the number of classes to achieve our actual classes existing on the image so we can say that which class you want to merge so it is asking what is the base and what is the base class you want to merge 3 into b 3 into 4 so select the 3 3 is a basic uh, your base parameter will consider and fourth class is going to be merged into the third class so this is a meaning and slowly we just do all the merging classes and refine the classification and next time you can increase the iteration to see how many classes if, if you want you can increase the number of classes minimum 10 maximum 15 see that means to classify unknown area it will take so much time to get into the more accuracy of the satellite data.